Jesus Christ for blessing us to be back again uh, another time of worship as always uh, God is certainly worthy to be praised uh, we certainly always want to be mindful of our brethren of the past uh, certainly and give them due respect all the deceased prophets of old and certainly the apostles uh, that came along afterwards we thank God for them we, we thank God for our dearly beloved brother and pastor Pastor Jennings uh, always continue to pray for him, that God will continue to bless him continually and his family and all the ministering brethren both here in this country and those in the foreign lands. As always, uh, we're gathered here for no other reason but to hear the word of God. Is that right? Uh, it's the most important thing in all of our lives. And as time passes and is passing quickly, uh, the value of the word of God to all of us should increase. Is that right? and not decrease because our time in this life is only for so long and we have to make the very best in order to make our calling and election sure. Uh, so we greet you once again in the name of the Lord Jesus. This time we're going to present to you our leader, teacher, and guide, a messenger of God Almighty, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> As always, we bear witness there is no God but one, there is no God with him, there is no God besides him, there is no God equal to him, there is no God better than him, and there certainly is no God but him. The one true God of heaven and earth is the only true sender of holy prophets and of holy apostles. He put his word in them and they gave it to the people in the time wherein they lived. From that time until now, God's word haven't changed. It remained the same and the same spirit that dealt with men to write the book must deal with men to explain the book. The word of God says all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. That's what gives me confidence in what's written. None of the prophets or the apostles gave their opinion or their idea or their own thinking. They spoke by God's permission when God moved on them. And just like God sent men to speak his word. The devil sends men to speak his word. Somebody said the devil have a word. Oh, sure. The devil first spoke his word in heaven. Not on earth. He first spoke his word in heaven. It was so contrary to God until war broke out. And uh, because God's word have no error and is infallible, and God is not the author of confusion, but peace. He says, as in all the churches, war broke out until the devil was put out. I often use the term he was ushered out. And out he came. Well, that same spirit of confusion... When it hit the earth, you see the results of it now. Different gods that people believe in, different religions that people have. Everybody have their own way of worship, have their own church. Jesus said you worship, you know not what. In other words, you don't know what you're doing. So that spirit of confusion is here now. And it's a tough job straightening out confused people. They'll fight you. You know, there's some people love to be confused. You know, you can be a particular way so long and so blind and so ignorant. And then when someone come along to open your blinded eyes, you fight them. I never saw a pig that wanted to be washed. 
You know, say anybody watch a pig, it's squealing, <laughs> hollering. Because the nature of the pig is to stay dirty and go back in the dirt. After you clean that old rascal up. And if it win the prize, you better not leave the gate open. <laughs> that pig going to run right back to the mud with the blue ribbon on him. <laughs> Why? Because he loved the mud. And he don't want nothing to change his behavior. That's the way many of you are, viewers. You love falsehood. <laughs> And you don't want nothing to change your behavior. We got tons of mail. January just got here good. And they're laying me out. <laughs> Amen. And then you have those that are thankful. Some folks say, you know, you, you need to talk a little nice. <laughs> they said it wasn't a man in the Bible that was a rude speaking person like you, Pastor Jennings. <laughs> Second Corinthians. Yes. Chapter 11, if I'm correct. Yes. Let me read this quickly. Then we have some letters I want to answer. I believe Second Corinthians chapter 11. Second Corinthians. And uh, maybe about the fourth verse. If I'm correct, let's Second see Corinthians this. Second Corinthians chapter 11, we're at verse 6. All right, verse 6, beg your pardon. Listen Se at this. But though I be rude in speech. That's me. <laughs> I agree with you. That's right. The Bible says, though I be rude, rude in speech. And the way I sound. Yet not in knowledge. But you know my God-given knowledge is right. But we have been thoroughly we made have manifest. Been thoroughly manifest among you and all among things. Among you and everything. That's right. So I'm not sent to give you sugar. Your pastor done did a good job of that. Yeah. And that's why you're upset with the way I sound, because you are religious. 2021 spoiled brats. That's right. <laughs> you want me to come pet you on the back and Rub your head and pacify you. You just got the wrong program. I'm sent to bring you the things of God. That's right. And beat your backside with Bible. That's right. Amen. I'm sent to wear your can out That's right. with Bible. That's right. You don't like this. I'm like the. Old grandma and grandpa. You know, the young people today that raise children, many of them spoil them and don't discipline them. Children can put their feet all up on the couch. I wasn't raised like that. Yeah, man, feet all up on the couch, running across the couch, going in the refrigerator, don't wash your hands and all that stuff. Don't say excuse me. When I came up and there was folks in the living room talking to my parents, uh, we wasn't allowed to walk across them. No, sir. Uh, we had to say, excuse me, but we couldn't just butt in. That's right. But today, no discipline, no teaching. And that's the way you are, viewers. I come along like grandpa and grandma. Spank you with the Bible. That's right. You keep trying to reach and touch three guards, and I come with the Bible. Ah, ah, ah. Come on back to one. That's right. All right. We got Dan the Man Stasiak here. Good to see him this afternoon. We're going to get some letters out the way. We got some mail and we're going to dive into this. And this time we're going to get all of them. We got quite a bit of them, but we're going to take our time and sketch them out. All right. Come on. This first writer says, hello, Pastor Jennings. I have listened to your preaching on Trinity and every word you said from the Bible. And I, know, I now know, understand that there is only one true God. Wonderful. I really appreciate it that you stay true to the Bible and you don't use reasoning like so many preachers do, which kept some of us in ignorance for a long time till we start researching for ourselves. Mm -hmm. The only area that I do not understand is Mark 16 and verse 19. 
All right, Mark 16, 19. Where the Bible says that he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. <laughs> yeah. What does this mean? Uh -huh. Is Jesus now sitting on the right hand of God separately? Very good question. Very good question. Is Jesus sitting on the right hand of God separately? Separately. Wonderful. Well, if he was separate, that would make two gods up there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, is Jesus sitting? Hmm. The question is, how many thrones are there? That's right. Let's get Mark, his scripture. Mm -hmm. and then we get revelation so we can give revelation. In the book of St. Mark, chapter 16 and verse 19. All right. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them. Yes. He was received up into heaven. He was received up into heaven. And sat on the right hand of God. He sat <laughs> on the right hand of God. Okay. Now hold it. I want Acts mm -hmm. 755. Acts 755, there. yes. Then I want the fourth chapter of Revelation. I want to see yes. Jesus Swapping position here. That's right. <laughs> Very good question. You know, I love the detail of this. That's right. And Marcus says he sat on the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. All right. In Acts chapter 7 and verse 55. What is it? But he being full of the Holy Ghost uh -huh. looked up steadfastly into heaven. What did he see? And saw the glory of God. And what? And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Oh. So which position is it? That's right. What did Mark say? He was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. So what did he do? Just went up there and flopped down in the chair? <laughs> Amen. And then changed position when Stephen saw him and Stephen said. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Now let me clear it up. Right. Jesus was not sitting no. or standing no. on the right hand of another. That's right. Not at all. That's right. You got to understand what right hand means. In the book of Exodus chapter 15 and verse 6. Right hand don't mean, if you be looking at my screen now, Williams is on my right hand. That's right. But that's two of us. That's right. But it's not like that with God. No. Right hand don't mean a separate being with God. That's right. Because God said there is no God with me. With me. All right, listen. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 6. Yeah. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thy right hand, O Lord. Oh, the devil don't want me to preach this. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, winter, it's winter time. What a fly doing around here. <laughs> hey, man, I got to rebuke him, you know. Amen. <laughs> listen at this now. Exodus 15 and verse 6. Hey, Amen. Thy right hand, O that, Lord. That didn't come out that letter you had, no. did <laughs> Thy right hand, O Lord. It's become glorious it's in become power. It's become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord. Thy right hand, O Lord. Has dashed in pieces the enemy. Notice the right hand. That's right. I don't mean literally his right hand. No. Right hand is another term for power. Power. Right hand, one scripture says right hand of majesty. That's right. So the right hand of God means the power of God. That's right. All right, the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation. Let's see the position that the apostle John talk about Jesus now. Revelation chapter four, we'll start at verse one. All right. After this I looked and I behold, looked, and behold, a door was open in heaven. A door was open in and heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me. Yes. Which said, come up come hither, up hither. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. What is it? And immediately... I was in the spirit. You see, in order to see one up there, you got to be in the spirit. That's right. Huh? That's right. This is after, after it was written, mm -hmm. sitting on the right mm -hmm. hand of God. Right. Standing on the right hand of God. That's right. Now, here come the apostle John now, by God's permission, saying what? And immediately I was in the spirit. Right away, God took a hold of me. And behold, a throne. A Wait a minute. Amen. How many thrones? A throne. And what? Was set in heaven. And one sat on the throne. But what did Mark say? Back in Mark 16 and verse 19. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he yes. was received up into heaven. And what? And sat on the right hand of God. But what did John say? And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven. How many thrones? A throne How was set How many sat on it? And one sat on the throne. There's only one up there. That's right. 
So when he was seen on the right hand of God, not that he was on the right hand of another, that was Jesus standing in the power of the spirit That's or right. in the glorified state. That's right. right hand mean power. So when he rose the third day and ascended above all heavens, that body put on the same glory that it had before the world was. That's right. So how many did he see? And one. Sat on and the he was in the glory of God or Jesus standing and the power of God and the power of the spirit of God. That's right. That's what that is. That's right. Not that it's another. No, no. because Jesus is God. That's right. In fact, he's the great God. That's right. Titus, Titus chapter 2, 2 verse 13. Real quick now. That's right. Come on, son. Titus chapter 2 and at verse 13. What is it? Looking for that Looking blessed, for the hope blessed hope and the glorious appearing and the of the glorious great appearing God. of the great God and our Savior. Who is it? Jesus Christ. Amen. So Jesus Christ is the great God. That's right. He's alone by himself, with himself, made everything for himself. That's right. All right, Dan, come on. Secondly, secondly, this person said, yes. God said, let us make man <laughs> in our own image uh -huh. in Genesis 1, 26. Was God talking to angels or himself? No. If he is the only one. And well, if you look at what God says, let us make let man us. in our image. You say, let us make him. That's right. Genesis quickly now, 126. And God said, let us make man in our let image. Let us make man. Right. No, he was not talking to the angels. Because when he said, let us make man, he couldn't be talking to the angels because the angels are not creators of man. That's right. Let us angels make man. Angels can't make nothing. In fact, the angels was made themselves. That's right. So when he said, let us make man in our image, after, after our likeness. Our likeness. Mm -hmm. And verse 27, let you know how many made man. Genesis 1 and verse 27. Says what? So God created man. Oh, wait a minute. So God, G-O-D. So God created, created man. Created man in his own image. In the image of God in the image created of he God. him. So I'll tell you who was he talking to. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and at verse 11. I'll let you know who was God talking to because we only got one creator here. That's right. Uh -huh. Ephesians 1 and verse 11. Yeah. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance. Yeah. Being predestinated according to the purpose of him uh -huh. who worketh all things. He will work everything. After the counsel of his own will. When he do work, he counsels with whom? After the counsel of his own will. When he made man, he was counseling with whom? Of his own will. When he made the heavens and the earth, who was he counseling with? Of his own will. When he made the sun, who was he talking with? Of his own will. When he made the moon, who was he talking with? After the counsel of his own will. When he made the sea and all things therein. Who was he talking with? After the counsel of his own will. That devil don't want this to come out, do he? Amen. I'm fighting with the fly. We're <laughs> fighting with the flies. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. We're going to fly it out anyway. That's right. So he was uh, doing this after the counsel of his own will. Now I want to answer uh, another question that's tied to that from another writer. Uh, they said, well, Pastor Jennings, was Jesus, was God talking to the angels when he made Adam? Because you said he was talking to the angels. God was counseling within his own will. His own will. The scripture where God was talking to his angels yeah. is in the ninth chapter of the book, book of Joshua. Joshua. You see, in the time of Nimrod, God says, let us go down. That's right. And you better give me in the Genesis, book of Genesis first, chapter 11. And then I want the book of Joshua. Follow me now. Genesis chapter 11, we'll start at verse 6. Yes, go right to the point. Listen. At, at verse 7. All right. Go to, let us go down. Listen at this. Amen. God says, go to. Let us go let down. Let us go down. And there confound the language. And confound the language. So, mm -hmm. now we got to find out who was the us. That's right. Who was the us that God was talking to there? In Genesis, mm -hmm. when they say, let us. Let us go down. Make man. Yeah. Yeah. In Genesis, when he said, let us make man, man. and you only got one creator, That's right. one creator, he wasn't talking to angels because angels ain't making no man. That's right. But when the days of Nimrod, right. when he said, let us go down, let us go down. Now give him the ninth chapter of Jasher. Now Jasher chapter nine and at verse 32. Listen at this. And God said to the 70 angels, who stood foremost before him yes. to those who were near to him, uh -huh. saying, come, let us descend 
and confuse their life. Let their us descend and confuse their tongue and confuse their tongue. That one man shall not understand the language of his neighbor. Understand what the other say. And they did so unto them. And they and they did they so. They did so unto them. You know, God uses angels to work for. That's right. But the angels are not creators. That's right. There's only, the Bible said, have we not all one father? Mm -hmm. Have not one God? Have we not all one father? I want to establish how many creators we got here. Malachi chapter 2 and at verse 10. Have we not all one father? Has not one God? Has not one God created and his us. angels? Has not one God created us? No, have not one God and his angels? Has not one God created us? Has not one God created us. All right, next letter. Come on, Dan. This person simply says, I want to simply give, thank <coughs> give thanks for the message on Sunday. All right. This other letter comes from a, a, a viewer or a listener that says, My husband and I have been blessed by the ministry. He doesn't go to church, but miracle from God, he is so happy to have found Pastor Jennings. My question is, how does the truth of God differ from the apostolic church? Please inform me of the truth of God newsletters, this person says, and thank you. <laughs> we differ in a whole lot of ways. Now, years ago, the quote-unquote apostolic, or some call it apostolic, many years ago, they were respectable. And many of them had a Bible firm standard, strict. Sound, in fact, preach holiness. But just like Satan entered the Garden of Eden, Satan have entered the so-called apostolic churches. Yeah. Things that many of them believe now, they didn't believe years ago. Amen. Many of them you would never find years ago women apostles. That's right. Women bishops. That's right. Women elders, women deacons. Yeah. You would never find that years ago. But now, look at the so-called apostolic churches now. P-A-W, U-P-C. Many that call themselves Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, of the apostolic faith. Many of them, women bishops. Some of them got women overseers now. Yeah. Many now that used to baptize. I give you a good example. 22nd and Bainbridge Street which is the former headquarters under Bishop S.C. Johnson, who died 60 years ago. And uh, you would never know that he ever walked in the pulpit there. They now believe you don't have to speak in tongue. Mm. Speaking in tongue is not a necessity now. Mm. Women wear pants. Yeah. They wear jewelry. They wear wigs. Lipstick now is the call of the day. By the way, worldwide, churches of our Lord Jesus Christ of their apostolic faith started by Bishop Smallwood Williams, who was the general secretary of Bishop Lawson. I'm just answering your question, what's the difference? Uh, by the way, was firmly against women preachers and remarriage and divorce. Now, by the way, will ordain a woman quicker than she can sneeze. And they are firm endorsers of divorce and remarry. They celebrate Christmas. Mm. They have Easter egg hunts. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So what is the difference? Mm. Big difference. Wonderful. Holiness is the standard of God. The teachings of God, not mixed. With no artificial flavor. We believe in the authenticity of scriptural fact. And scriptural truth. No adding. Don't take away nothing. Leave it the way God have it. If you beat you to your knees. Leave it the way God have it while you're down there bowing. For I testify unto every man. I was said in the book of Revelation. Revelation 22 and verse 18. I testify to every man that, that here, the words of the, the, prophecy, words of of the book, prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him. The plagues that are written in this book. In the so-called apostolic church, most of them baptized in Jesus' name. Yeah. That's wrong. The Apostle Peter baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and the Apostle Paul came along and baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Many now that claim they're apostolic, 
Women can wear pants, be in the, walk around in church in shorts, right in choir rehearsal, shorts, right. hot pants, right. halters on. Don't believe in having their head covered now. Amen. You can divorce and remarry. Bishops, that's pastor in churches, got two and three wives. Amen. And they said this is the Lord's doing. Amen. Uh, so, yes, holiness. Now, number one, apostolic is not in the Bible. No. There's no apostle. And I want you to hear the old troublemaker. There's no apostle declared their faith. To be called apostolic. That's right. The faith of the church is plainly written. In the book of Jude chapter 1 and verse 20. Jude is right next to Revelation and only got one chapter. So you ain't got to tie yourself out looking for it. That's right. <laughs> Listen at this now. Jude chapter 1 and verse 20. What is but ye beloved. Talking to the church. But ye beloved. Ye beloved. Building up yourselves. Building up yourselves. On your most holy faith. On your most apostolic faith. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. So our faith, we don't change the name of our faith or the heading. That's right. We don't change it from holy to apostolic. Right. Not at all. That's right. Our faith reflect the belief of God. That's right. The apostles had a holy faith. That's right. The apostles believe in a holy, sanctified life. That's right. Years ago, when you claim you was apostolic, it was common not to see women with mini skirts. Yes. It was common not to have a homosexual for a deacon. Yes. It was common not to have a homosexual for a bishop. That's right. But now yeah. you got rainbow flags yeah. fluttering. <laughs> on so-called apostolic churches. That's right. They have took the standard of God and threw it in the trash. Right. Now you find many apostolics with the prosperity message. Amen. Touch it and claim it. Amen. Don't believe you hurt. You ain't got to believe you hurt. If you're hurting, it'll show on you. <laughs> That's right. Holiness is that old-fashioned Holy, sanctified preaching. That's right. We don't butter you up. No. We let you know it's heaven or hell. Thus saith the Lord. The first religious organized group that went under the heading of apostolic was the Catholic Church. It wasn't Bishop Johnson, it wasn't Bishop Lawson, it wasn't uh, Bishop Seymour, G.T. Hayward, none of them. The Catholic Church was the first ones to go under the heading apostolic. Right. And God's holy people refuse to be identified with the Catholic Church. That's right. So there's a whole lot of difference. I mean a lot of them. Right. All right, come on, Dan. This person says... I hope you are happy if Biden wins because he will have you in chains again. <laughs> Unfortunately, they will not enjoy their time in office. Yes, give me some more juice uh, back there, uh, Judah. Uh, go ahead, Dan. What do you say now? Unfortunately, they will not enjoy their time in office. All right. They will not control me and the patriots who love the Lord. All right. Uh, okay, well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I love the Lord, too, and they don't control me. Right. And let me show you why that this is one black man that won't be enslaved. That's right. The Bible says, he whom the Son has set free yeah. is free indeed. <laughs> so don't get upset with me because you blind, devil, hell-deserving, evangelical frauds who was anointed by the powers of the devil lied on God. That's right. Get mad at me. That's right. Listen, I didn't vote for Biden. Ha ha ha. I didn't vote for Biden. I didn't vote for nobody. nobody. I'm still working on my song. I vote for Jesus. He's the one. I vote for Jesus. The only one. I, I never get nowhere past that. I'm on my way though. <laughs> I remember when I first sung that, a bunch of emails can't, came in, people just adding, just adding to it, and it sound good. But let me tell you, uh, we're not going to be in chains, you old weak bigot. That's right. Amen. So because you upset, yeah. get over it. Yeah. You might as well get over it. That's right. Because I don't care who's in the White House, 
This is what we will preach. That's right. This is what we will stand on. That's Amen. right. Amen. Amen. So uh, get over it. Get over it. And just get ready to repent of your sins. Right. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord fill your uh, chain gang soul with the Holy Ghost and come walk with the truth of God. Amen. All right, Dan the man. Come on. Yes, Paul Copeland, Creflo are liars. Yes. And demonic. But Trump won and had the election stolen. He should not have had that witch in the White House. They just won't give up. Don't, don't give up. They just won't give up. Don't they give writing up. me, blaming me. That's right. All right, go ahead, Dan. She called out Africans, African demons. Gino is a hater of Trump. He does not know Jesus, who is at the right hand. I don't know him. Oh. Well, if I don't know him, why are you watching me? Yeah. That's right. Paula White was sent by hell. I have heard what the prophet said. She's an outstanding liar. That's right. The angels didn't come from Africa. No. She was calling for them. Yes. Then went off into some tongue. Yaka saka, maka saka, chitlins, pog malls, pancakes, macaroni, cheese, collard greens, making a menu. That's right. I have declared before and I declare again. That's right. Every so-called evangelical liar that was used by the powers of hell. Yeah. If God yeah. said that Donald Trump would be in the White House and win, and win. this election, right. Biden should have never been inaugurated. That's right. Because God don't lie. That's right. right. Yeah. So yeah. shall my word be. Listen at what God said. Isaiah 55 and verse 11. Are you upset with me? Don't get upset with me. Right. Get upset with Paula White. That's right. Get upset with Kenneth Copeland. Yeah. Get upset with the 700 Club. Get upset with all these evangelical bigots that wanted Trump to be in office so bad. You was willing to lie on the almighty, but instead God made all of you liars. That's right. Amen. 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 So don't get upset with me. That's right. All of you evangelicals yeah. that's following any man or any woman yeah. who was caught up in this demonic frenzy Amen. of pathetic Prophecy, yeah. not prophetic. Yeah. Pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> and you see it didn't come to pass? That's right. It is God yeah. that allowed this to happen. That's right. Yeah. To show you that he did not send That's right. these prophets. 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Quickly Je now. Jeremiah chapter 23 and at verse 21. Listen to what God said. I have not sent these prophets. But what did they do? Yet they ran. What did God say? I have not sent these prophets. What did they do? Yet they ran. What else did they do? I have, I have not spoken to I, them. I, I didn't speak to them. Yet they prophesied. That's why you don't find Trump in the White House. That's right. God didn't use them. That's right. God didn't speak to these liars. That's right. And you writing, Pastor Jennings, all of you that's following these churches where these men or women said that lie, pack up. And leave. Yeah. God willed for this to be done right. to manifest yeah. that you was following a false prophet or a false prophetess. Who is he that saith and it cometh to pass? In chapter and verse. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 37. Who is he that, that saith, saith and it cometh to pass? And it happened. When the Lord commandeth it not. God didn't command it. That's right. And you got false prophets all over social media to my son. God commanded. Yeah. God kept. In fact, that's one of the things Paula White was saying. Yeah. God commanded. Yeah. God commanded. And then she said, I commanded. Oh, Lord. I commanded. Oh, Lord. Paula, go get a job and go to work. That's right. Yeah. And all the rest of you heathens. That's right. All right, come on, Dan the man, Stacey. Yeah, cut us out. Another writer says, to infidels, the reason why Trump lost is because they cheated. Many witnesses, judges, etc., were paid off by Biden. Open up those evil eyes, this person says. I have no sympathy for blacks who wanted Biden. He will have them in the street and no money to spend. 
And I wish God would destroy America and the wicked. Really? So I, who's the wicked then? Who's the wicked? If you hate blacks that bad, why you keep looking at my black face? That's right. Now let me say this. Read re, re, re what he said again. I, I don't want to miss nothing. Read what he said again, Dad. He, he said, two infidels, the reason why Trump lost is because they cheated. All right, hold it. Now, I believe prophecy from heaven yes. can beat out cheating. Amen. That's right. Amen. If they really did cheat, if they did. If they did. But if God said, yes. I demand. For Trump to be in that White House. That's right. The whole world can cheat. Yes. But if God said it, that's right. You will see Trump right there. That's right. You mean to tell me the God of Israel can't outbeat cheating? So right. shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. This is what God said. In Isaiah 55 and Isaiah 11. If God said it, that's right. no one can steal it. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's it. How can human beings beat God? Yes. If God said it, nobody can beat it. That's right. If God said it, nobody can steal it. Amen. If God said it, nobody can suppress it. If God said it, nobody can squander it. That's right. It's just like God said, Terry, and she ye shall be due with power from on high. God promised that we will receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. I don't care if you don't believe it, yeah. but if God said it, yeah. right. you can put a paper bag over my head. Uh, but if God filled That's me right. with the Holy Ghost, right. I'm going to speak under that bag. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes, Look how dumb you sound. <laughs> Amen. You mean to tell me cheaters and the voting booth? Got more power no. than God? Oh no. My Lord. Oh no. He opened the Red Sea for Israel. Amen. But he can't put Trump in the White House. Amen. Amen. He Amen. shut heaven up Amen. for three years and a half. Amen. So it don't rain. Amen. And he can't put Trump in the White House? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. God says. In Isaiah 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. That come out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Well, wait a minute. It won't return, return unto, unto me, me void. void. Tell the world what God's word would do, God word would do Williams. But it shall accomplish. No, no, they cheated. But it shall accomplish. No, 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 no. They cheated. But it shall accomplish. God said his word shall accomplish, accomplish. that which I please. That means it's guaranteed to get results. Amen. And it shall it's prosper. It's guaranteed and it shall prosper. In the thing whereto I sent it. If he sent his word through these evangelical frauds. That's right. Then Trump would have been in the White House. That's right. Just face it. That's right. The prophecy failed. It never came from God. Yeah. It was the moving of the devil in the earth. Behold, I am against them that prophesy. Listen at this in now. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 32. Getting mad at me all you want, you Trumpites. That's right. You going to come back to the Bible? That's right. Eh? That's right. What is that? Jeremiah chapter 23, we'll start at verse 31. Yes. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord. I am against the prophets, saith the Lord. That use their tongues. That use their tongues. And say, he saith. And say, God saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy I'm false dreams. I am against them that prophesy false dreams. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. And do tell them. And got the nerve to tell them. And cause my people to err by their lives. What? And cause my people to err by their lives. That's why you're writing me. That's right. Because you, you're Arab by what? By their lies. Amen. 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 You're Arab by your lies. By their lies. And here he, Trump, is all, Trump is home in Florida. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. And you still hollering. That's right. All right, come on, Dan the man. This is good. If pastor does not believe in voting, why doesn't he keep Trump off his dirty lips? <laughs> he did a lot for our dumb Negroes. Getting out of prison and giving the lazy suckers, this person says, jobs. He needs to learn Bible before he can speak on Jesus. Well, I tell you what you do. Why don't you come face this dirty lit preacher? Amen. Amen. 
saying that you want me to keep Trump out of my dirty lips? Why don't you come take him out for me? Amen. That's right. That's right. I take this Bible and beat you down to your knees. Amen. That's right. So don't stand behind a screen and talk. Just face it. Right. You liars. I don't mm -hmm. care if you're black and white. And being that, he, uh, he, he call them he, our Negroes. Our Negroes. <laughs> what are you, still a slave driver? Mm -hmm. Lord. Or are you a black Uncle Tom out here kissing mm -hmm. up the Trump? Go ahead. Amen. Amen. This is one preacher that the government don't rule. That's right. I'm not buck dancing like many of you folk who were Trump's buck dancers. That's right. right. And because he pardoned or was able to free some black folk, yeah. so what? That's right. You think he was the only president <laughs> where black folk got out of prison? Yeah. Black folk been getting out of prison every day. That's right. He ain't do nothing new. That's right. But notice, there was no agenda for people of color. Amen. But when he started running for the second term, yeah. he introduced a fake agenda yeah. called the platinum agenda. That's right. That's right. That's right. And you fell for it. Yeah. Yeah. You fell for it. Oh, yes. Before he got in office, chaos yeah. followed him all over the country. All over. After he got in office, chaos. Yeah. While he was in office, chaos. That's right. Last days of office, chaos. That's right. And now many of you so-called Christians stormed the Capitol, broke into government property, yeah. and started stealing. Yeah. And Jesus said, thou shall not steal. Shall not steal. That's right. Amen. Christians. But yet you Christians. Yeah. Some of y'all infidels broke in and start holding hands praying. Mm, Imagine that. You break in my house <laughs> and I come downstairs and catch you and you holding hands praying. Yeah. I'm going to break up that prayer meeting. That's right. <laughs> uh, amen. Amen. Now, if you was doing God will, God will does not cause no one to sin. No. God will does not cause no one to do wrong. That's right. Wonderful. And here you are now being hunted by the FBI. Yeah. Not you're not going to jail or charges pressed against you because you done right. Uh -huh. You were tricked. And many of you what helped push this motivation was false church. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not only you suckers believe Trump lie. The same spirit that was in Trump was in your pastor. That's right. Amen. I have heard what it's the prophet in your preachers. Yeah. Amen. He lied and said he won. Yeah. You lied and you said God said he won. That's right. And you mean to tell me God is not stronger than the Democratic Party? Amen. God? God. Wait a minute. God. God? God. Talk about this. Moses can throw down a, serp, a, a rod, turn to a serpent, eat up all other rods. Jesus can turn water into wine. But now you got an election that's so difficult. God can't get Trump in the White House. Use a pathetic bigot fool to believe it. That's right. Come jump on Pastor Jennings. That's right. I take you for a 1932 Bible ride. Amen. 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 All right, come on, Dan. Another letter says, my name is Scott, mm -hmm. Mr. Jennings. I would like to discuss with you some very troubling events. All right. I have come across an article that would have great impact on preaching the word of Jesus Christ. Yes. The Biden and Harris administration, this person says, are making plans to infect our children with the idea that it's okay to accept gay men and women so-called rights. Yes. And, there's go and, there's going to, and they're going to use the recent events of the court ruling to make it mandatory that all children must learn about that. You must call a woman a man and a man a woman. As we, as and we as people who preach God, who preach God, Jesus' word, they are going to try to quail our tongue about preaching it's wrong to be gay. Here is the link to the article, and the person gives a link. If Biden or Harris continue Obama's 
filthy, Amen. dirty, Amen. rotten, Amen. no good, hellish, yes. same sex agenda. Amen. We are blasted to hell. Cry aloud. And I want to encourage all teachers Amen. and all employees and employers when a man come in your job, in your company, in your place of business, when a child come in your school and you know that's a boy, don't bow to the government and call it a girl. That's right. Man. When a girl come in, Man. don't bow to the government and call it a boy. That's now, to you that work for the government, Amen. whether it's signing marital certificates or anything that got to do with you writing documentation, we that are of God, we can't endorse no. or seal or no. sign no. a same-sex marriage license no. right. or a same-sex marriage certificate. That's right. no. Amen. You come in first church, and if I know your name is Tommy, <laughs> and you want me to call you Tamika, right. I'm dropping off the Hika. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Tommy. That's right. God says in Genesis, yeah, yeah. let us. Let us make man. Yeah. Let us. Let us make man. 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 Make man. Let us make man in our image. And then he put man in deep sleep, took the rib from man and formed woman. Woman. He didn't form anything in between. No, no substitute. No. So if Biden and Harris go that direction, we're ready. That's right. And man, the church ain't got to get ready for that fight. We've been fighting that fight. That's right. <laughs> Amen. There's some of you Trumpites wrote me. Obviously, they wasn't watching us long. No. What's she going to do when Biden try to bring uh, Obama's homosexual agenda? All you got to do is go listen at the many messages of the truth of God. I will stand on that as clear. Yeah. You see, the truth of God don't care yeah. your uh, political affiliation. Yeah. Our affiliation is with God. That's Amen. right. That's our affiliation. That's right. With God. That's right. Our party is holiness. That's right. We're not Democrat. No. We're not Republican. No. Our party is holiness. That's it's right. the holy party. That's right. It's a holy sanctified. Hallelujah. Holy, holy sanctified people. The holy Glory people. Take God that believe firmly in what is written here. So if by him though Harris, if you are a teacher watching me, don't you bow when you know you got a young boy there come dressed like a girl and you go and put him sit with the girls or allow him go to the ladies room. That's right. I That's show right. you how dumb their government is. Yeah. Yeah. So many of you say, well, Trump, you know, he had those morals. Yeah. All right. If he didn't believe in same sex, fine. fine. But he believed in exchanging wives. Yeah. Yeah. You're guilty in one point. You're guilty, guilty in all. all. That's right. Amen. Amen. He endorsed adultery. And some of you say he's the greatest president in the world. You are <laughs> deceived by all the powers of hell. That's right. That's wishful thinking. Yeah. So nobody that's following God should endorse same-sex marriages in any form. We don't, I, I, if, if there's anybody come in first church, yeah. you're a man, mm. come dressed like a woman. Mm. If we see you trying to creep in the ladies' room, mm. We, and I'm making this plain over the air. And if you want to be dumb enough to try us, do so. But if any man come in any of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ buildings, well, that sign says women's, ladies' room. It don't say nothing else, but just clearly say ladies' room. Only one image on there. That's, That's right. the image of a lady. That's right. And we see you taking your wig head. Ashy knees. Amen. Size 15 foot. Amen. <laughs> to try to go in the ladies' room. Amen. That's right. We will 
physically grab you and usher you out of here. That's right. Amen. 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 Well, Pastor Jennings, we'll sue you. I'll be glad to face any courthouse in this country. If God said it's an abomination, we're going to say the same thing. That's right. right. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful, sir. Wonderful. You think we are intimidated by lawyers? <laughs> we have the best lawyer. Amen. We got an advocate. That's right. With the Father. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Dan, come on. This person says, my question is, I want to know the reason why Pastor Jennings mentioned in his preaching that Bishop Daddy Grace is going to hell of the United <laughs> House of Prayer for well, all people. I'm glad to tell you that. Go ahead, Dan. Amen. <laughs> this person says, I left the church going on two years now for many reasons. My husband was born in the United House of Prayer for all people. Yes. He said to me one day, he's not going <clears throat> to let religion get between our, our marriage. Uh -huh. I love the Lord in Jesus' name, she says. I have my own special relationship with the Lord, with the Lord thy God. I am born again. I am a born again Christian. Now my husband is starting to pressure me sometimes to going back to his church. If it is true that Pastor Jennings said about Daddy Grace going to hell, he is the founder of my husband's church. Yes, Daddy Grace is an outstanding false prophet. I'm gonna tell you why. Go ahead. I don't want to go to hell. This person says. Good. My husband is dragging some of our children back to his church yes. as well. She's looking for your advice. All right, I give you my advice. Give me the book of Corinthians. Come out from among them and be separate real quickly now. In the book of Second uh, Corinthians. Daddy Grace, better known as Bishop C.M. Grace. He wore long hair like a woman. That's Let me right. chapter First Corinthians quick now. I want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. First Corinthians chapter 11. Chapter 11, Daddy Grace wore long hair like a woman. And At the Bible says, 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 14. What is it? It was not even nature itself. It was not nature itself teaching. That if a man, if a man have, long hair, have long hair, it is a shame unto him. It's a shame unto him. That's right. Now, he wasn't ashamed. He wore long fingernails, longer than most women. Yeah. He didn't believe in burying you in water like the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. Right. He took a fire hose. It ain't no fire hose baptism in the Bible. That's right. The Bible says in the sixth chapter of Romans, we are buried with them by baptism. baptism. Buried. Right. That means your whole body go in the water. That's right. Not only that, they took all the, uh, in the songs that they sang that had the name Jesus. You know, if we sang, mine, 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 Jesus is mine, mine when I'm weary. Well, they would take all the songs that had the name Jesus out mm. and replace it by sweet daddy. Sweet daddy, daddy is mine. Sweet daddy, daddy is mine. Mine when I'm weary. That's the devil out of hell. That's right. They made a god out of sweet daddy. Yeah. They would put so-called sweet daddy grace on the throne where he was living. Yeah. And all the other bishops now that come after the fallen false prophet, yeah. they call them. Sweet daddy. Isaiah chapter 42 and at verse 8. Real quick. I am the Lord, that is my name. I am the Lord, and that is my name. And my glory. My glory. Will I not give to another. You see, you give these false prophets the glory that only God desire and only God is worthy of. That's right. I don't, I don't have a customized throne. No. I wish some brothers would put me in a chair and then horse me up over their head and walk down the aisle like, a, like I'm Pharaoh. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And that's what they do in the house of prayer for all infidels. Amen. You take your blind bishop, put him on a customized throne, yeah. hoist him up in the air like he's some pharaoh. Amen. The only one that deserves to be lifted up is the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. Amen. The house of prayer is a false church. Yeah. It was passed up by the devil and the Tended by hypocrites and set up by Satan himself. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and at verse 14. This is what I advise you to do. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What is it? For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? Yeah. And what communion hath light with darkness? Yeah. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Yeah. What part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Yeah. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? Uh -huh. For ye are the temple of the living God. Yeah. And God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. Yeah. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. What did he advise? Wherefore, come out. 
from among them. Go there. Come out from among them. Go there. Wherefore, come out from among to them. To what degree? And be ye separate. Who said it? Say it the Lord. All right, that settles that. That's my advice to you. Right. Obey what the Lord said. Right. All right, come on, Dan. This person says, uh, Dear Pastor and Apostle Gino Jennings, please forgive me for talking against some of your teachings and, this, and speaking and questioning your validity of being sent by God. I am totally sorry for sure in the depths of my soul that does continue to live. I didn't want to let go of my understanding because it was attached to something that I wanted to know that I could look forward to in the future, even though my first wife is still alive. All right. To not make this letter of sincere apology long, I must let you know that I have had a real brush with death. And it has been only the mercy of the Lord that has kept me alive and functioning. Wonderful. A bad tooth pulling led to high hypertension, this person says, all kind of attacks against my body, along with something blocking my satisfaction in prayer, though God did continue to answer my prayers. Then I thought, since I'm going through this well, then God must have uh, sent you, and what you're saying must be truly right. So please forgive me, Pastor Jennings, this person says. I will never talk against you ever again. I will remain lowly and ready for the Lord Jesus to mold, make, and send me if that's what he wants to do. I have enjoyed your teachings. I know that your ministry is definitely the best message going. I believe that you understand and forgive me. Thank you very much. And this comes from a viewer or a listener. All right, wonderful letter. That's all? One more? All right, you're forgiven. Whatever you're talking about, you're forgiven. But uh, all right, thank God for you. Next letter, last letter, come on. Hello, I highly respect Pastor Gino Jennings. I know some that are trying to start their own church. That's what they do. I want to make sure that their bylaws are up to standards. Mm -hmm. They did get a chance to go over your bylaws and would like to know if they are allowed to be used in some of their bylaws of their churches as well. Are they allowed to use some of the rules because they agree with them and what the Lord wants for his people? They didn't want to use the rules in their bylaws without the permission of your church, this person says. We know that some churches may allow other startup churches to use their bylaws if needed with their consent. But they wanted to know if something from your church does, if what your church does as well. Can you in advance, can you in advance for taking, the person says, beg your pardon, thank you in advance for taking the time to help. All right, uh, first and foremost, I saw? Yeah. All right, thank you. I want to meet with the preacher. We don't want no one to just hijack uh, the bylaws that govern the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ and then start a church. And then you want to try to nitpick, take out what you want, use what you want. No, we believe all the word of God is right. That's right. And when we set up laws, our laws don't contradict God's word. That's, right. That's why we set up laws that way to answer questions that people may have. And uh, then uh, it, it eliminate a lot of uh, time of repeated questions being asked. But no, we just don't give other organizations our book of bylaws and, uh, and then they just take them and just run with them. And then make it appear like they're part of the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so I would like to meet the preacher, talk to the preacher, and uh, check him out with Bible. That's right. All right, before we go any further, let me update you. Uh, thanks, Dan, for those letters. Very good letters. Uh, let me update you with those that was baptized so far. One in Minnesota, four in Fresno, California. And uh, I believe one came out speaking in tongue there in Fresno, California. Two in Portland, Oregon, two in Bronx, New York, 20 in Johannesburg, South Africa, 10 in Santa Rosa, California, and three in Canada. That's a blessing. All right. Now, one thing about the word of God, it's the word of God. And many of you take it personally out on me and don't like the way I sound. I don't think God sent nobody for the people to like the way they sound. No. In fact, I know he didn't. No. God sent men to preach the word. That's right. That's all, preach the word. Right. If, some, if your house is burning, you don't have to like the way the firemen sound. That's right. But if what that fireman is telling you is going to keep you from being burnt up, wouldn't it be wise for you to obey him? Amen. Or are you going to sit there and say, you better ask me to leave nicer than that. That's right. I'm not leaving. All right, then stay there and be burnt up like a fool. That's right. 
My job as the messenger, you better give me the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. I want to show you how loud that I am how commanded loud. by God to cry. That's right. I'm not sent to be your televised buddy. No. I'm not sent to be your social media friend. That's right. I'm not sent to be your radio partner. Amen. I'm sent to preach to you God's word before you die and lift up your eyes in hell. Isaiah chapter 58, we'll start in verse 1. All right. Cry aloud. Cry softly. Cry aloud. Cry timidly. Cry aloud. Cry passively. Cry aloud. Be scared to cry out. Cry aloud. Worry about what they think of you. Cry aloud. No, look at the feelings. Cry aloud. Amen. Do you hear the Bible talking, viewer? Cry aloud. Amen. That someone logged on and said, I can see the arrogance in that man's eyes. <laughs> Do you really? Amen. Amen. Are you getting the old man? That's right. The Holy Ghost said. Cry aloud. I'm not over the air to be liked or loved. No. As long as God accepts, thank God, my work, that's what gives me satisfaction. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Yeah? That's what I'm working for. That's right. So we take God, that God Almighty, accept, amen, this work that he has put in my hands. That's right. God put this work in my hands and made me responsible. Yeah. And I'm responsible for the time wherein I live. Cry aloud. And he told me to cry aloud. Spare Hallelujah. not. Do what? Spare not. Do what? Spare not. Don't spare nobody. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Wait a minute. Lift up your voice like a flute. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nah. Amen. Lift up your voice like a flute. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a harmonica. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Nah. Whistle it. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice with a whisper. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lift up thy voice like Lift a trumpet. Lift up thy voice. Like a trumpet. That's why you don't like me, viewers, because it's too loud for you. <laughs> That's right. You want to sleep in your sin and sleep in your wicked belief and hear the message of holiness come mm. right in your ear, disturbing your slumber. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Fear not. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God he said what? Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Don't spare. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What do I care? I don't care if you're so white, you're blending with the snow. That's right. If you're so black, they think you're living asphalt. <laughs> That's right. Walking the street. Amen. If you're so yellow, somebody mistake you for one of them yellow school buses. Cry aloud. I'm going to bring you. God, and the thing about it, the reason why I can preach this, mm -hmm. by God's permission, I was made a preacher. That's right. Amen. You see, you can't get this type of boldness from seminary school. No. You can't get this. Hallelujah. Go to take on. That's it, big God. You can't get this type of boldness from studying theology right. and all of that religious trash that sprung out of hell. That's right. It takes God to make a preacher. That's right. Amen. Blessed be the name of God. And when God make a preacher, God said, I've put my words in thy in mouth. In thy mouth. In thy mouth. I've put thine, my words mm -hmm. in thy mouth. Be that's not what, afraid that, of their faces. That's what's wrong with me, viewers. That's right. Viewers, that's what's wrong with Pastor Jenny. Some of you say, well, something wrong with you. One man wrote me, he said, something's wrong with you. I don't know what it is, <laughs> Amen. but something is wrong with you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Something's wrong. <laughs> that's right. I thank God, but the thing that's wrong with me is what's right with me. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was made a preacher. That's right. Glory to God. I was put in the womb a preacher. Mm. Eh? That's right. Amen. I said I was. Hallelujah. Who would take God? Hey Amen. I was put in. Yes. My mother's womb. He put me in there. That's right. A preacher. You know, you know, you know, oh, yeah. you don't put pound cake in the oven yeah. and it come out a peach cobbler. That's right. Oh, no. No, no. You better give me the first chapter of the book of Jeremiah. And, and at verse 4. Begin at verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me. Then the word. The word of the Lord came Hallelujah. unto me. Hallelujah. 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 Then the word. The word of the Lord came Glory unto me. God of the Lord came to me. Saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Yes. Amen. Hey. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hallelujah. Glory to God, I formed thee. In the belly, I knew thee. In the belly, he said, I knew you. And before thou camest forth before out of the you womb, came out, I sanctified thee. I already had you set aside. And I ordained thee a prophet. I ordained thee, hallelujah. Hallelujah. A messenger. Unto the nation. Unto the nation. Hallelujah. He said, I they, are Lord you God. You got to be put in. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know when you're predestinated hallelujah. to be a preacher. Hallelujah. He puts you in the womb. That's right. Put you in there, preacher. That's right. Form you while you're there. Amen. He don't send you. Why you there? That's right. He formed you. Why you there? Before I formed thee in the belly, before I knew I formed thee. thee in the belly, I knew thee. I knew what I had in mind. And before thou camest forth Hallelujah. out of the Glory womb, to God, before your mother pushed you out of there, I sanctified thee. I already had you set apart, and I ordained thee a prophet I, unto listen, the nation. Pastor Jennings was already set aside. That's right. To do what God got me doing. That's right. He already ordained me. I ordained me. Meaning, a he already appointed me. That's right. I just had to wait for my appointed time. Amen. For my change to come. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I ordained the prophet unto God, the nation. When it came, he Hallelujah. decided to send me and make me a preacher. That's right. And sent me to the world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's right. Preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To every creature. That's right. Glory to God that is under heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm going to preach it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ordained the Glory prophet to unto God. the nation. You can get that mad at me if you want. Yes. Uh, here's a man who don't fear death. That's right. I don't fear prison. That's right. I don't fear the White House. Hallelujah. I don't fear Democrat. Go ahead. I don't fear Republican. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God said. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah! Go ahead, man. Rallo! Spare not! Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Rallo! Rallo! Spare not! We ain't gonna spare you. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. When you write me letters, Hallelujah. Calling me names. Go ahead, brother. Giving me threats. Yes. I can't begin to tell you (laughs) how good it make me feel. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you call me nigger, <laughs> feels good. Feels good. Call me Negro. Go ahead. Feels good. That's right. Call me a monkey. Go ahead, brother. Feels good. Go ahead, man. Call me a coon. Go ahead. Feels good. That's right. Because regardless of what you say, Hallelujah. You got to come back. Hallelujah. 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 Call me. Whatever you want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That stuff don't make us angry. No, no. You see, you write me and call me names. That's right. Thinking I would be angry? Amen. No. Oh, no. Eh? no they called no. Jesus the devil. That's right. It didn't make him angry. That's right. Huh? Eh? So you could call me whatever you want. That's right. Call me any name you please. And they departed from the presence you can of the council. call me false prophet. Amen. Child love. That's all right. That's all right. Eh? That's right. I say like Paul. That's right. I am. Go ahead. What I am. What I am. That's right. I was hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was made a preacher. That's right. Being made a preacher. Go ahead, man. I'm sent to preach the gospel. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Paul said, this will I do. If God permit. Oh, right, thank God if God permit. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, I will do it. Go ahead. So all the names you call. Go ahead. Make a list. Yeah. Check it twice. Cry aloud. Find out. Go ahead. Who's naughty or not? Nice. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. This one gospel. Preach it, brother. It won't change. Go ahead. It won't change. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Let the heavens go away. Preach it. Go and take God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the be God. Yeah. Go ahead. Let it won't change. Go ahead, brother. Go and take God. Go ahead. It won't change. That's right. God brought it. Go ahead. Gave it to his apostle. Go ahead, brother. Left the day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Left it on the record. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. And remission of sins should be preached in his name. In his name. Glory 
take God in his name. Among all nations. Among where? Among all nations. Glory. Among all nations. Among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses. Ye are witnesses. Of these things. Who is this witness? And behold, I sing the, the promise. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm a witness. That's right. Go ahead, take off. Go ahead, man. He said, You're witnesses. And you're witnesses of, of these, these days. days. And behold, I send the and promise. Behold. I send the promise of my father yeah. upon you. You know why? Go ahead. You can't stop this thing. Go ahead. It's the Holy Ghost. That's it. Huh? That's it. You're getting mad at the wrong one. Go ahead. Bless it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're getting mad. Go ahead. At the wrong one. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 It's not me. That's right. It's not Geno Genesis. That's right. It's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? Hallelujah. And he told me to cry loud. Cry loud, spare not. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift it up. Go ahead. God gave me a strong voice. Oh, yes, he did. So I can lift up his holy name. That's right. Exalt his name. That's right. In the earth. Go ahead. What did he say? Cry aloud, spare <laughs> not. Don't spare nobody. Lift up thy voice like a Lift trumpet. Lift up your voice as a trumpet. And show my people their transgression. Show the people their transgression. And the house of Jacob their sins. That's why you mad. Amen. You don't want your transgressions. That's right. To be shown up. That's right. But it's going to happen. Oh, yes. Acts 38. Then Peter said Hallelujah. unto them, repent. Hallelujah. 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 Then Peter said unto them, repent. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Said unto them. Repent. Come on, world. And be baptized. Come on, world. Hallelujah. Glory. Go ahead, brother. Come on, world. Go ahead. You got this to do. Go ahead. You got this to do. Repent. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Then Peter said unto them. Then Peter said unto them. Then Peter. Repent. Praise the name of God. Then Peter said unto them. unto them. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. Every every Trump follower. Go ahead. You Trump lovers? Go ahead. Repent. You got to repent. Repent. All of you evangelicals. Repent. You might as well come on. That's right. Come on. I know you don't like it. That's right. And you hate Pastor Jennings. That's right. But you might as well get over it. That's right. You want to obey this. Oh, yes. Or go to hell. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter. Go ahead. Said to them. Repent. Repent. And be baptized and every be baptized. one of you. Everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins. For the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy shall Ghost. Shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto promise you. Is unto you. Unto you and to your children, and to your children, and to all that are far, all off, the far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. If there's anybody here Go ahead. want to obey the word of God Hallelujah. and be baptized in water today, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. If you want it, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, come on to the front. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, what a mighty God we serve.